Well, Trevor is one angry accountant. When his clients ask about their investment, Trevor fires back with rude rants and threats. Well, has his day finally come? Sam Cucciaro, a current affair. While numbers might be his thing, manners are not. You call people putrid you call them so you call them rats. You've got quite the potty mouth, Trevor. And that's being polite, says this angry accountant's client, Mark Felberg. He's a keyboard warrior. It's what he is. He's not scared of nothing. He thinks he's untouchable. Trevor McTaggart owns Melbourne's Arbitrans Accounting. Just thinks he can say what he wants to say to people. From his work email address, Trevor sends clients, like Mark, these repulsive messages. Good morning, you dirty, dumb, vertically challenged grub. You gutless little sniper. Maggot. Smelly little short You rat dog Who do you think you are? A grubby little germ. Sant. It gets even worse. You and that putrid you knock around with don't have a brain to bless yourselves with. That's a low blow. For the record, we've seen the messages Mark sent Trevor. He couldn't have been more respectful. Dear moron, I've already told you that due to your manic disposition, your threat to kill me and your general IQ, I will not have anything more to do with you. He reckons I threatened him, which I never threatened him. It's no wonder so many people hate you. Your ex-wife, your children, your ex-mates, everyone, really. You are universally hated. And then I get a, a bit of man action. You will love it. I bet you are the best man kisser. Wouldn't it be the first time you charming stuff by the way a couple of my friends are going to drop by and wish you a merry christmas enjoy the gift so what sparked trevor's tantrum i rang him and he didn't answer so i said i hope you return my call this was the response i hope you get some manners rude Mark transferred $100,000 to Trevor, which was then given to another company to be invested. When Mark asked Trevor for help getting the money back, Trevor was initially helpful before things took a dramatic turn. You deserve to lose your entire investment, and I hope you do. The best thing for you is clean up Australia Day. I don't think you talk to anyone like that. Um, you know, you can throw some swear words in there and I'm not the only one. A young teacher copped this tirade from Trevor because she says she took her tax return elsewhere. You are clearly delusional. We have made up a case study of you for our training courses. It has already got a giggle as trainees just can't believe your conduct. Trevor told another customer... You don't have the brains to check your junk folder. Good riddance, rat. Trevor McTaggart. Sam Cucciaro, a current affair. I've just got a few things to read you here. Good morning, you dirty, dumb, vertically challenged grub. Who speaks to somebody like that, Trevor? Mark wants his $100,000 back. Where is it? Seems Trevor's a little camera shy. Trevor, has the cat got your tongue today? Minutes later, this voicemail's left on Mark's phone. Are you mental? Going to a current affair? You're an absolute it's not Trevor, but his acquaintance, Simon Lucas, who owns a building company with Trevor. Bottom feeding. Piece of. Simon later sends me this. Hi, Sam from a current affair. Simon Lucas here. Don't contact me, don't mention my name, and have nothing to do with me. That's not very nice. It's not the first time Trevor's colourful vocabulary has put him in the bad books. A few years ago, he was fined by the Institute of Public Accountants for using unprofessional language and making unfounded allegations about other people. And that person, I'm aware, hasn't been a member of IPA since 2016. Vicky Stiliano from the Institute of Public Accountants. That the term accountant is not protected at law, which basically means that anyone can hang out a shingle and call themselves an accountant. But that means that they're not going to be um, subject to the same rules and procedures as the accountants who are members of a professional association. You've been in trouble before for doing this, yet you're still doing it. 
plays big time, yeah. Even though know, I wasn't sleeping properly at, at night, I was I'd wake up and I couldn't get back to sleep for about four or five hours. Have a nice day and a nice life, you f***ed up unit. Cameron's coming to get you. If you've had dealings with Trevor McTaggart, please let us know. Our email address is on your screen now.